to day four of the 25 apps in 25 days series, the series where I showcase a brand new app every single day for 25 days in a row. If you missed any of the previous episodes, I've linked a playlist down below where you can catch up. But for today's episode, I've got a free and open source music player app that is actually not available to download via the Google Play Store. But honestly, this is one of the most fluid and best designed music player apps I think I've ever come across. And honestly, it's almost like Google designed it themselves. As always, just a reminder that this video and this series does not have any sponsors, but it is supported by those of you who download and use any of my apps, as well as those who purchase any of the digital products I sell on my website, all of which will be linked below. And I do wanna quickly highlight the companion app to this series, My App Shelf, which is a library of hand-picked app recommendations from yours truly. We literally add brand new app recommendations every single day, so it's definitely worth checking out. But with that being said, let's dive into day four's application. Okay, so the app we're discussing today, as mentioned, is a free and open source music player app, and it's actually called Pixel Play. Like I said, it's not available to download on the Google Play Store, so you will need to grab it via the GitHub link below. And I'm literally just gonna walk you through the entire app setup process and then show off some of my favorite features. So here's the app's welcome screen. And I'm sure that you can already see hints of Google's Material 3 expressive design on show, but just wait, because there's way more where that came from. But let's tap here, then we're gonna tap here and then allow to grant the app permission to access my phone's audio files. Then I'll tap next, then skip for now, then I'll enable notifications like so, then next, then I'll tap here to grant the app access to all my files, then I'll come back and hit next again, then I'll tap this final tick button. And the app will then quickly prepare my library, which takes next to no time for me. But once done, you'll be taken to this Your Mix home screen, which presents you with a random assortment of music files, which doesn't look amazing for me right now because a lot of the music files on my phone don't have album artwork. So hopefully yours looks a little better than mine, but we can either tap one of these circles here to start playing a track like so, or we can also tap the shuffle button to start a playlist of shuffled tracks. But once you have a track playing, we can tap this bottom mini player interface down here, which will expand the full screen player interface. And as I said, if you thought the app already had that Material 3 expressive vibe about it, now it's even more obvious. Like check this out. If I tap this pause and play button here, I mean, that just reminds me so much of tapping toggles in the quick settings panel, right? And then tapping forwards or backwards also features the same animation. And then we've of course also got this beautifully squiggly music player scrubber here, which I love. Then let's get forward to this track. And if I now tap this lyric icon here, then tap search, as you can see, we get lyrics that sync up to the music, which I know is a must have feature for a lot of folks. So it's great that it's been included. You can also switch the mode from synced to static. I'm just gonna hit pause here for a moment though. And if we come back, we've also got a button down here to shuffle tracks. We can also set the song to repeat once or infinitely using this button here. And we can also favorite tracks from this bottom bar as well. Then if we close that player, then tap the settings cog up here. The app also has a few options worth playing around with here as well, including changing what directories the app can access to pull music from. So let's say you don't want ringtones or WhatsApp audio showing up in the app, then you can simply uncheck those, then tap accept and that'll hide them. And if you've also just transferred some new music to your phone and it's not showing, then you can just tap this refresh library option and it should now show it. We've also got some visual customizations that we can make down here too, such as switching the player theme from the default setting, which pulls colors from the album art to a system dynamic option, which pulls colors from whatever your system's color theme is set to instead. So that's a nice option if you want a slightly more consistent look across the app. You can also switch the bottom navigation bar from the default inset option to a full width option. And I'll just quickly come back to show you what that looks like. And it isn't my preferred look. So I'm gonna come back and set this back to default. And in doing so, it actually re-enables this nav bar corner radius option. So you can tweak the nav bar to better match your phone's corner radius. And then finally, you can also tweak the carousel style from the default one peak option, which is what lets me see a sneak preview of the next track's album artwork. And this is what's enabled by default, but you can change this to this no peak option, which as you can see, just shows the full album artwork. And I think this looks a little cleaner, so I'm gonna leave it enabled. 
Then if I close that, down here, we also have the option of inputting a Gemini API key, which supposedly enables some AI-related features. And I did try adding my own Gemini key when first testing out the app, but at the time I filmed this video, at least, it didn't appear to unlock anything relevant. So I'm just gonna leave this blank for now. There's also a developer option here that forces the app to recreate the daily mix playlist straight away rather than having to wait until the next day for this to happen. But aside from that, that's it for our various settings options. Just one other thing, there is actually also a sleep timer feature built in, which you can find by launching this next up interface. So there you go. Although this does seem a little hidden to me, so perhaps it would be nice to have a sleep timer option directly on the actual player interface itself. There's probably just two main features that I'd love for the app to implement to make me consider using it full time. The first of which is an equalizer. And then the second of which is an option to search for album artwork within the app rather than only having the option to add it from my phone's local storage. If the developer could add both of those features, then this really would be one of the best offline music player apps that you can get. But that's it. That is the app Pixel Play. And that is it for day four of this series. Don't forget to check out my app shelf for even more great app recommendations. And don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on the next episode. But aside from that, that's it. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you later.